Jeffrey for Let's Locals, your travel advisor. That people in Xi'an or Shanxi love their noodles, I've told you in many episodes before. But what you probably don't know yet is that they love them hand kneaded. Only hand kneading the noodles will provide the perfect taste. And one of those noodles with the perfect taste are Nutin Zemian, Donkey Roof Noodles. Let's go and check it out. When kneading donkey hoof noodles, an egg will be added to the dough to make the noodles extra chewy. Afterwards, the noodles are rolled into slices and cut next to the cauldron in order to make sure they do not lie there for too long. Everything needs to be done very quickly. If the noodles are out in the open air for too long, the chewiness will disappear. And that's exactly something that cannot be allowed to happen for this type of noodles. And here we have it, the donkey hoof noodles. And let's see what's on there. We have some fried chives over there, fried egg, shredded pork. Uh, we have some soybeans in there and some tofu with tomatoes. And of course, the noodles. And why are they called donkey hoof noodles? It's because one story says that they look like donkey hoof noodles, but come on. Do, does this really look like donkey hooves? I don't think so. I like the second story way better. That story played out during the Tang Dynasty when Empress Wu Zetian was on her way back to Chang'an after an inspection of the construction of a mausoleum when all of a sudden a rainstorm broke loose. They had to find shelter and after searching for a little while they found it at the home of a peasant woman. And the peasant woman was really honored uh, having the empress at her farm. So she prepared some noodles with the best ingredients she had available. Now the empress was so happy with the noodles. She thought they were very, very tasty and she asked for the name. And just when the peasant woman was about to answer her, all of a sudden, the donkey next door started braying and he put one of his hooves into his manger. The woman, she ran outside the peasant woman and she said, donkey, hoof. And the empress, however, she thought that the woman was telling her the name. So donkey, hoof, noodles. And at that time, it was actually a big offense to um, yeah, disagree or um, speak against the empress. So. The Empress said, wow, donkey hoof noodles. That's a really great name because the noodles are very chewy, very sturdy, just like a donkey and voila. Hence the name donkey hoof noodles. Now let's start eating. <laughs> one of the two stories is the real deal but what I do know is that donkey hoof noodles are super tasty now we have come to the end of our trip with let's locals if you love the video drop a like and let us know in the comments below whether you would like to have a portion of donkey hoof noodles now subscribe to our channel also if you want to know more about China and its delicacies see you next time